In this video, I'm gonna go crazy on this whiteboard showing you the one variable that is holding you back from seeing the progress that you want in fixing your body, permanently eliminating any joint pain, muscle tightness, or recurring injuries, and just stepping back into your athletic prime so that you can feel and perform well on command and do that for an extended period of time. This one variable is the missing link why I see some people get to this place really fast within a couple weeks and other people it takes a couple years. So watch this video, watch what I plot here on this whiteboard like a mad scientist and you're going to see exactly what you need to do and how you need to think and channel your thinking in order to achieve these results much faster. So getting into it, we uh, basically have to solve for this problem that we see, right? Because some people are getting these outsized returns for the inputs that they put in. What do I mean by that in plain English? So some people are getting really good results. They're getting stronger. They're getting more powerful. They're, they're just overall just getting more training results with relatively little amount of time that they put in. And then somebody else might be putting in the same amount of time or even more amount of time and they're getting significantly less results. They're not seeing their muscle mass increase. They're not seeing their uh, strength improve, their power, explosivity uh, or explosiveness, whatever the word is, improve. Uh, the main difference between those two people is one little variable called focus. This is the difference between those two people. The person who gets better results in the same or shorter amount of time has a higher level of focus because focus acts as a multiplier for our time and our energy. So time and energy is going to equal productivity. But then you take focus into this equation and you multiply that at the front. So the more focus you have, the more you're going to be able to utilize your time and energy effectively because we only have a finite amount of time and we only have a finite amount of energy. These are limited commodities. How effectively you use them, AKA your focus is going to determine the results on the other side of this equation. So breaking down a day, right? We have 24 hours. Okay, in a day. And a lot of you are probably already working for, let's say, eight hours of that 24. And then you will have your biological imperatives like eating and showering and talking to the wife or the girlfriend, just social things in general, anything to keep you sane and to just keep your body running, to keep basically maintain your health. That, that'll probably be anywhere from four to six hours, let's say four hours. So that's already 12 and then we're sleeping for eight hours. Right, and that's four, eight. So this is work. This is bio imperatives. And this is sleep. And then for some of you, you probably have a commute and that's anywhere from one to two hours. But let's just say one on the low end because um, that'll probably average out with a lot of people working from home. So this right here is 21 hours for 12. Yeah, 21 hours. So that leaves assuming that you live a very strict lifestyle because this four hours 
includes things like eating and showering and other things that you're going to need to do going for walks like light exercise uh, this isn't considering training uh, so you might actually be at a little bit higher than this 21 hours but let's say you live very strictly very minimally and you have this 21 hours in total now that only leaves three hours a day for training and everybody has these three hours how you use them is what's going to impact the results that you get and so that this is time now we have energy as well so you can think of your energy as this ball right here and you can think of all of these different things in your life so you have um, let's say business or, or your career you have relationships you have training you have i don't know let's say hobbies so you have all these little things in your life and then you can break this down even further. So let's say within training, you have like mobility, you, you have mobility, you have strength, you have flexibility, you have power, you have maybe um uh sport specific skills so like that's like shooting a basketball throwing a football kicking a soccer ball things like this so you have all these different things that you can allot your energy to now the more that you can cut down your energy oh and before i say that so all these different things are are, are your focus the way that these arrows are going in are channeled by your focus so the more that we can confine our focus so instead of having all of these little uh little uh basically this is progress in a certain direction instead of having a bunch of little progress in every direction we can have all of these add up into one direction by channeling our focus and of course you don't need to just have one main thing uh, or train in one specific way or one specific quality but just note that the better we're able to actually channel our focus and the more we refine that, the more progress we're going to see. Because you can imagine this arrow is adding all of these up. And so what does this actually mean? How is this relevant to training? So you see the guy who will go into the gym and he'll do something different every single day. He'll go in and do some knees over toes lunges one day and he'll go in and do some other cool exercise that he saw on Instagram one day. And then he'll go in and do one of, one of his old workouts from college. And that's this guy. That's this guy right here. He, he's not really making real progress because he's going in all these different directions. His, he's not focused. And then this guy is somebody, whether he's training for muscle mass or he's training for strength, he goes into the gym and does that thing every day. He does the same thing every day. And maybe he does a little bit of work to kind of balance himself out. I mean, if he's smart, he will. But he goes in and this one thing is his main focus. And that's why he sees these seemingly outsized returns relative to this guy and so when we combine the fact that we have this three hours a day for training probably less for a lot of you and we have this limited amount of energy 
to a lot to the things that we do in this time frame of three hours, focus becomes critical. We have to understand what we are focusing on. And more importantly, we have to know how to focus because this is a skill that a lot of people don't understand. So I'm going to actually erase all this stuff and quickly go over how the hell to even focus. Okay, bear with me as I just erase everything here. Okay, so basically, okay, this is about good enough. So basically, Focus is essentially channeling your energy, channeling uh, in a certain way to magnify what you're working with, with those limited resources. So what, how, how can we actually do that? The, way, the best way that I like to, uh, to, the best example for this is to think about how you would feel your bicep as you're trying to isolate that bicep doing curls. You're going to channel all of your attention into that bicep so that you can feel that bicep working more. You can feel the mechanical loading on that bicep and you can really get it working in a way that's going to lead to growth in that bicep. In the same way, we want to channel our focus on the very activities that we're doing. So I spoke about focus from a broader sense, that dude who goes in and does all these different things. And then there's also a more micro sense within each workout. So let's say you're not that dude, you actually know what you wanna train for, you have very specific goals. You need to now learn how to focus within each individual workout. And so let's say, and I know a lot of you want to get better at moving so that you can get rid of your dysfunction is in movement, your postural imbalances, and uh, thus get rid of any pain, tightness, or injury. If that's your goal, what you need to learn how to focus on is your movement technique. So once you know that you want to focus on your movement technique, now you need to understand, okay, what, what are the different components of movement tech? You have full body tension. You have breathing. You have foot ankle activation and then also hands as well really important and there's some more things here but these are some of the main ones and basically what you need to learn how to do is channel your attention just like you do to that bicep to each of these areas as you're training and it's literally like just focusing on that one thing, feeling the sensations that are involved with that function or with, with this, this feature of the body. And as other thoughts come in, as your mind might want to wander, like let's say you're focusing on your breathing as you're doing an exercise and you start thinking, oh, well, my hip feels kind of weird. I wonder what's going on with that. Oh, well, maybe it's because my glute isn't firing that well. And oh, well, maybe my glute's not firing well because my pelvis is out of position. And you just go down that rabbit hole. But your main intention was to focus on breathing. But you forgot about that because you're not focused, because you didn't channel your focus. So again, in that exercise, you can think of your energy here. You have a limited amount of energy slash attention. And then the focus is where you channel it. So let's say 
that because you focused a little bit on the hip here, you focused a little bit on your breathing, you focused a little bit on your pelvis position, like you didn't make that much progress in that individual exercise, whether it was a lunge or you were doing a, a squat or whatever the case may be, you, you didn't make this that much progress as opposed to if you channeled your focus just into the breath, you're going to get a, you're going to get a higher out. You're going to get a, a, a bigger outcome. You're going to get more results from that exercise in terms of locking in your movement technique, becoming a better mover. So you need to apply this to everything that you do. There are so many different intentions and you can go through my content on YouTube to understand some of the intentions that you can hold as you're moving, but there's an infinite amount of things that you can be focusing on in your body from just different sensations to different functions. Like you can literally bring your attention to anything, pressure distribution, the, the weight distribution from side to side, the tension through your body, the compression versus decompression. There are so many qualities that our body, our nervous system allows us to sense and feel and thus direct our attention to. And all of these things, like the better you get at focusing, the better you're going to be able to lock in those things the way that your body is naturally designed for them to operate. So the better I'm able to channel my energy, my focus, uh, my attention to something like foot and ankle activation, and I have that knowledge also as a prerequisite of how the feet and ankles should be activated, the better I'm going to be able to improve my foot and ankle activation. So again, you can see that the better your focus is, the better and faster you're going to be able to rewire your movement in this scenario. So if you're constantly being bombarded with music in your headphones, like super stimulus based songs and stuff like that and you're talking to 20 people at the gym and you're going from one side of the gym to the other side of the gym and you just got so many things going on distractions limit focus so you want to limit distractions to increase focus distractions you want to get rid of as much as possible like you, you really want to make sure that as you're working to, again, in anything in life, but in specifically, if you want to rewire your, your movement, you want to balance out your body, get rid of movement dysfunctions, you need to get rid of the distractions. And in this example, a distraction is anything that's not one of these points of focus. You, you sure you can f try and focus on a bunch of different things at once, but I find that having one singular intention throughout an exercise is the most effective, most impactful way to make the most gains and to see the most progress. So that's about it for this video. Again, if you stuck with me all the way through to the end, you probably have a high level of focus and you probably are a very disciplined person. And I know that you're going to take this stuff and run with it to have that uh, ultimate um, athletic, resilient body that you want. And if you want my help with that, you can click the link down below, schedule a call with us and see what we can do. See, see, uh, we'll talk to you about your specific situation and kind of get uh, on, on the same page about what exactly it is that you're looking to do, looking to achieve. And from there, if it makes sense, then we'll work together and we'll work on this stuff. I'll teach you specifically how to channel your focus and more importantly, what to channel your focus on. And from there, you will be a beast. You'll, you'll be able to elevate in a fraction of the time that most people do. So if that sounds good, just book a call down below. But other than that, that's it for this video. Peace, guys.